It's only on 11 Alive. Concerns growing right now over the conditions and inmate safety at the Clayton County Jail. The girlfriend of a current inmate reaching out to 11 Alive trying to get him some answers. 11 Alive's Don White joins us live in Jonesboro with more on what that inmate is claiming. Don. Ron, the girlfriend of that inmate who is inside of the Clayton County Jail right now, she sent me a recording of him behind bars and also gave us permission to use it. And she says what he is experiencing inside there is horrific. The outside of the Clayton County Jail looks normal. I just need somebody to hear me out. And I, we need help in here in the Clayton County Detention Center. <laughs> But a current inmate says what goes on inside is not. I'm in a pub with murderers, rapists, killers, inmates with real heavy, deadly charges. No doors locked. I repeat, no doors locked. There have been four to five stabbings. One I witnessed myself. The inmate was leaking from head to toe, drenched in blood, with blood all over the floor. This inmate who's in the jail on a marijuana charge says he doesn't feel safe inside the jail. I'm in here with a light charge that they housing me with mental health people. It's been freezing cold, inmates walking around with blankets covering their body. They found an inmate dead in the trash can right before I got moved in. The man claims the water to take a shower is always cold and they get one bottle of water a day. This jail is overpopulated and I've been sleeping on the floor since I've been here. The CO's playing with the tasers, threatening to shoot the inmates. The inmate says he's also worried about his health and that he'll get seriously ill. It flooded out for a whole night and a half. They didn't move us at all. Our slash inmates had to clean up all the dirty, unsanitized water from the flood. And we did reach out to the Clayton County Sheriff's Office numerous times over the past four days, and they never returned any of those messages for comments.